Hey YouTube fam, so I was just watching uh, parts of the documentary Blackfish, have you seen that one? It's with the uh, orcas and how SeaWorld keeps them in small little cages, basically. It was kind of funny, they take a picture of the overall parking lot of SeaWorld and then the actual sea tanks that they're in. The orcas is like really small. You gotta remember these things in the wild are able to swim on average 100 miles a day and you lock them into these like small little cages. And then I thought about my situation here in the RV. Um, man, I feel like I'm in a little cage. Like, if you take Google Earth and you zoom out, just even above a city, zoom out, you'll see all this land, man. We are not, like, landlocked. It's all artificial. Another problem created by humans. Man, I feel like I'm in captivity. I feel like I really want to roam. Because where I'm at right now, it's in an RV park. 45 degree angle, uh, like, parking uh, spaces and my van is right there on the line that's the only place I can park it right by the road and when I work on it I have absolutely no privacy man I would I just want to work on my vehicle without being like actually spooked when someone walks by because they're like literally like a foot from me you know it's a, a, an awful feeling that's why I want to get out of here I want to go find a place where the American dream is still alive it's, it's dead here in California, that's for sure. Um, you know, it's like $300,000 for a really low-end house. And I don't consider myself free until I have a deed in my hand that says I own the place, which means I don't pay a mortgage every month. I don't pay <clears throat> rent every month. Can you imagine what that would be like if you just canceled that biggest line item out of your month-to-month -month expenses? That's what the beauty of owning the deed is on a property. You've got that paid off. Now you've you're into the wealth building stage. Your money goes so much farther. For instance, okay, so I paid off my debt, and when I was able to do that, I was able to start uh, saving money and doing like more risky investments. I, and I invested in Bitcoin in, back in 2013, and I just put a portion of my paycheck into it. It was a bet. I th I believed the technology, what was behind it, and I thought this very well could be the next currency or something like it at the time i thought bitcoin is definitely better than what we have with the federal reserve system with the two percent inflation it's higher than that and you guys know it look around look at the prices of food look at the prices of things that they don't include in their inflation numbers the government you know inflation is a lot higher than what the government is reporting they don't take into account of the price of a lot of things <sighs> yeah it's my dream i want to get my own property a deed can you imagine just being having all your debt paid off and then you're in the wealth building stage and then you can play with take on more risky investments play with your money a little bit it's my dream to escape captivity and that is eventually owning a deed to a property you know california completely overrated sure you make a little bit more money here but you you know you pay for it with the taxes the living conditions they say it's like so nice here but it's completely it's just overcrowded in my opinion and everything is more expensive. Like at the grocery store, the gas is more expensive, especially. And then the state taxes. I want to go someplace where I can still have the American dream. And I've researched places. My background is in technology, so I need a place that's got, like, tech in the area. And a place where I can buy a piece of land and park the RV on it. Because I want to escape those. Because I eventually I want to pay something off and own it. And that means I need to own the deed. And so I would like to get something... Uh, a small if I need to get a loan I don't want it to be a really big loan because I don't want to pay the insurance and all the interest so one area that fits the bill here is Raleigh North Carolina Tri Cities area it's like the triangle Churchill Raleigh Durham I think and those cities make up the triangle there's a lot of employment in the area especially for high tech that's what I do I won't make as much out there but I'll also have the opportunity to get a cheap mortgage hundred thousand dollars on a small house and really all I want to do I just need somewhere to park my RV and I'll have the chance to experience the American dream owning a deed to a property and it'll be nice to always have a place that I can call home a pl you know while I explore the country come back that's my my spot also have the ability to rent it out so while I'm away I can rent it out or if I get the right property I might be able to park the RV back there and then also simultaneously rent out the house. Because I own the land, I should be able to put a fence in there to give me privacy in my own area to park the RV. And, you know, I could get half of an acre out there for fairly cheap. 
So that's my plan. I don't want to live like the dolphins in SeaWorld. I want to be this human that has his space, his freedom, some privacy, my own fresh air to breathe in, and the ability to not be a slave to debt, owning the deed. I think that's key. All right, so what are you guys' thoughts on this? Do you think this is a good idea? Every idea has pluses and minuses, so I'd like to hear what you guys think are those pluses and minuses. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button and pay off your debt in that order. And you, there, go get that deed.